Work out again. Damn. Nice. Oh, they always sound so disappointed with you. Oh, my bags. I hear that like my cabbages. 7k already. Holy crap. You're doing what Dab did last month. Getting that early start. Yeah, I think you'll find it's very, very useful. But don't forget, there's a 100k on offer tomorrow for the first person to get bingo. So you want to be here tomorrow, folks. I mean, obviously you want to be here in the stream anyway, don't you? Right? Right? Shot. Sure. Wow. <laughs> Let's see how it is. <laughs> I know what they're like. Haley, seriously. Help me out here. Mind you, I was going to say, you. The amount of abuse you give and take from Drongo is probably. You're used to this. <laughs> Good to see you. How you doing today? Uh, right. Bed. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's it's the last day of summer. Oh, let's do it. Okay, fine. Let's do it. Let's finish summer. Just one more day, he says. One more day. Bread. Mmm, bread. Gotta get that bread, chat. Gotta get that bread. Penny's disappeared again. Is my child still asleep? Yeah. Relaxing to watch, but I turn into a rabid perfectionist. I know that feeling. I am suddenly like, no, I need to do it all properly. Where's my fecking rain? Yeah, I know, right? Oh, Penny's there. Okay. Good morning, wife. Good day. Have a, have a gem. I got up early to water some crops and they were already done. Yeah. I'm all over it. But that was very sweet of her to want to do. Oh, bless her. Tonight at around 10 o'clock, a rare and beautiful event will take place. The Moonlight Jellies. Ah, yes. Now, we are missing a rare crow somewhere. I think two rare crows, in fact. I don't know which ones. But yes, we are doing a perfection run, which I have never done in this. We're going for 100%. Oh, that's a lot of truffles. Yes, please. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Please and thank you. Uh, milk. Now, where are the baby animals? Where's the baby? Where's the baby cow? There you are. Little fecky. Where's the duck? There you are. Quack Bower. Quack Bower looks really happy today. Well, that's good. That pig is going to town. Uh, no giant melons, so I may as well just harvest them. I love that this is on the playlist. The, the muffled version. <laughs> All right, we'll, uh, we'll reset it. We've got a jukebox on the farm, so it, it plays all the random music. Oh, I forgot to... Oh, never mind. This reminds me of some music from... 
Final Fantasy VI. Is it Final Fantasy VI? On the mountain. If anyone knows what I'm talking about, I'll be very impressed. But yeah, it reminds me of that. Might be five, might be six. That's very, very similar. Okay. Um, I'm supposed to go to the mayor's house at some point. I just realised. Wish animals would get preggers more often. Yeah, because then... Yeah. That, that is a good point, actually. Barely remember the music from 13, and we've only just done that. <laughs> right. Uh, any wine done in here? Nope. Okay. Next, we go to the desert to see if we can get uh, this final artifact. Just one little teensy-weensy artifact. Come on, game. You know you want to do it. Right? No, oh, we finished 13. We're on the challenge runs now. Okay, chat. Pray for RNG. Actually, can we increase our luck with this? FF1 monks. Yep. No, no dice. And there's, I don't see any others around. Uh, oh, no, there's one. Come on, RNG. That is not what we need. We already, we've already handed that one in. We have literally one item left for the museum, and we're just hoping for good luck. How vexing. Most vexing indeed. Uh, it's a fossil type one, but it's but the best chance of getting it is from the desert. Yeah. But I honestly can't remember um, what it is. I, I, I just like a palm something. But yeah, I've got. I'm using the website stardew.app. And what you can do is upload your save file. It gives you the um, file path as well. And then you just drag it across and it tells you what you need. Really useful. Uh, let's go to the mayor's house then, I guess. Oh, Feckley, I never said hello to you. Where are you? Where'd you go? Does the dog love us yet? No. I think we need the dog to love us for reasons. I can't remember why. <laughs> There's so much I forget about this game. I am 800 hours into this game. 800. And I forget things about it every single time I play it. Here we are. Welcome to Clothing Therapy. What the fuck is that? <laughs> probably wondering what is clothing therapy the forest but interesting ah, you don't get as many dig spots though do you i guess you suppose it's about the same i'll try to explain so many of us are struggling with personal issues things holding us back from our living how we want it's important to me that everyone has a free and happy life so i came up with a new kind of therapy to help people achieve that it's based on the amazing power of self-expression it's a wonderful healing tool did you know that Behind this curtain, you'll find racks and racks of clothes. Where? <laughs> There's endless options to choose from. Your job is simple. Find the outfit that truly speaks to you and put it on. Feel confident in yourself and your choice. You all have a unique style to share with the world. Shane, you're up first. It's a magic curtain. Like, um... Oh, what was that... What was that kid's show where you went into the changing room? Mr. Ben! Mr. Ben. Ah, oh, Hesu, just in time. Just observe and keep an open mind, okay? <laughs> Says to the one wearing the propeller hat. <laughs> like, Hesu's already expressing. Whoa! Oh, Shane, it's a new side of you we've never known about. That's great. Go outside with confidence and show the world. Uh, sure. 
Okay, he's up for it. Fair play. Everyone gets a turn. Oh, Clint. Oh, I, oh sorry. I swore. <laughs> Secret goth shame. Secret metalhead, I think. Damn, Robin. Why not? Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> That's quite a look. Somehow he managed to magically grow his moustache as well. Pimp daddy. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Uh, sure. A Abigail, of course. Of course. <laughs> She's so weird. I love it. You're up. Me? Okay, Emily, I'll do it. Very on brand for Abigail, yeah, absolutely. What's he gonna wear? Mankini? Assless chaps? Although we talked about this the other day, chaps, all chaps are assless, otherwise they're just trousers, right? Oh, cute. Ugh. Would be good if you could randomly find Abby in the mines exploring. That would actually. Well, that went very well. Just hope this experience helps everyone break a bit out of their shells. Hestia, um... I, I couldn't do it. I don't want to break out of my shell. They're jodpers if they have a butt. Oh, I guess, yeah. Oh, I, I'm interrupting someone here, aren't I? No, because Hestia's married. Come on. I just, I'll leave now. Congrats, Hestia. It's a shame. It's a shame it doesn't change the dialogue after you're married, because you're like, yeah, yeah, bit, bit icky. God damn it! <laughs> Just seeing if we got any other cutscenes. Boom. I'm waiting to do all the relationship stuff until we get the um, the Mr. Chi quest of um, Are you growing any blueberries on your farm? I do enjoy a fresh blueberry um, Yeah, until we get that Mr. Chi for giving all the love gifts because it seems like that's it's worth waiting to do that Sweet peas are in bloom right now Where's George? Cheating exists. It does. I, I'm aware that it does. But I, I feel like it should acknowledge the fact that the player is married. <laughs> At least. Oh, of course, it's Sunday. What kind of monster would cheat on Penny, exactly? Good to see you, Robin. I am a regular member, yes. I've been here for three years. Or two and a half. But you're growing some interesting crops right now. Dad says a lot of exotic plants grow in the valley at this time of year. Uh, more... More iron, I guess. Linus, hello. Leave your time of year for me. I don't have to worry about staying home. What does he like? Rabbit's foot. We know that, but I don't know what else he likes. But yeah, we're trying to become best friends with people. We're nearly best mates with Pam, our mother-in-law. Hmm. All right, more iron. More iron. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Before I... Let's go back to the farm first. I didn't get the blessings. 
I did not get the blessings. Blessings to you. Yeah, he, um, I know quite, there is a couple of characters who like cactus and coconut. And infinite energy. Eh. That's not so much of a good one because we don't really need that anymore. I'd prefer the luck or other ones. Ah. He likes certain foraged items, doesn't he? Bombs can't damage me right now, so we can do that. Uh, iron, iron, iron. That's what we're here for. Let's get as much as possible before the end of the day. He likes those yams. I bet he does. Do, do. By the way, if you're wondering, I've got the napalm ring, so when you defeat an enemy, they explode. They're the 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 snow yams. Yeah. I don't know if he likes those or not. Nice. Lots of the dust sprites. These drop coal, so that's great. Golden animal cracker. Another one. Oh, I don't see any iron. Let's carry on. Oh, hello. I'm just going to go. Keep going. Hey, yes. That's good. Come here. Come here. Come on. Ah, damn it. You get normal ones from the mines? Do you? Oh. Can slice rocks. Only the these sort of gem type ones. Yes. Indeed. Yeah, just those ones. But the the other ones are because the enemy explodes, yeah. Like that, yeah. Do 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 do. Does my sword Oh, never mind. <laughs> well there you go, Prague. Educational stream again today. Out. Give me that iron. How are we doing for iron? Not too bad. Is there a way down? Your issue was a what problem? You had your execu executable linked to the mod launcher ah that's that explains it uh i don't oh right ff13 i was trying to work out what on earth the context of that quote was <laughs> wow <laughs> I think that's one of those that I didn't even realize I was saying it as well. You know? I think that was a genuinely innocent one. Uh, I have no idea, Amanda, but yes, you might be right. Oh, quote 1069, yeah. There are no innocent quotes. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh that about to run out, yes. 7 30 pm, okay. Chat, this has been mm, not the most fruitful of iron hunts. It's raining oh I it's gonna rain here as I leave, isn't it? 
Oh no. Oh no. Go, 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 go. Oh, we actually critted it. Nice. Another one of these floors? Wow. Not getting the luck here. Oh, oak resin. Yes, please. Oh, what ring is that? A ruby ring. Hmm. What's my sword's name? Uh, Dave. Uh, I'm using the Infinity Blade, by the way, if you are wondering. <laughs> it's the upgraded Galaxy Sword. I have heard about the Olympic Gymnast sponsored by Parmesan Cheese Company. It's amazing. Love it. Dance of the Moonlight Jellies. Now, do I need to go there? I'm going to go there just in case there's a rare crow, you know? Because I can't remember. Oh, I didn't mean to go bus stop. You just did it yesterday. Nice. Yeah, I've seen I've seen the pictures. I saw it on uh, on Twitter. <laughs> it's brilliant. Just, just doing sort of gymnastic pose on a wheel of cheese. <laughs> Probably aren't any, but I'm just, just going to check the shop. No. Okay. Uh... Can't remember if I've sold seafoam pudding or not, so we'll just, yeah. Old Shiokarath. Old Shio's here. Uh, yes. Well, that was easy. That walked me home. Nice. Do, do, do. Uh. That. Nope. Sell you and you. Oh, couple more to sell. <laughs> You don't want a cheese. She doesn't want to give you a cheesy photo. Oh, that's a shame. Sell some of that. Uh, da, 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 da. You go in there. We'll sell you later. And we are done. Bedtime. All right. Betty buys. I would. You would expect not. Just a bit on the pasta. Just a little bit sprinkled on the pasta. No tiny scarecrows. That would be, actually, yeah. That would be. Right, that is the beginning of fall. But that is also the end of the stream. Thank you all for watching, everybody. It's been really fun. I hope you have a great rest of your day. We will be back tomorrow.